Hi guys, so today I wanted to paint a seashell to fit in with my nautical theme that I've got going on at the moment with my art GCSE. So I'm using acrylic paints today because I actually grew up on acrylics. It was the only paint my junior school had in the art room and yeah, I'm quite confident using this paint. Also the benefit of working with acrylics is that any mistakes that you make, you can just cover up again as the paint doesn't wake up again if you paint over it. So um, once it dries, it actually stays dry. But that means that you can't wash it off. So that can cause stains on clothing, obviously. So to begin with, I sketched a quick outline of the shell, just really quickly using a reference image just so that when I started putting down the paint, I wouldn't be completely lost and just so that I would know the basic form of the shell and I would know what I was doing and what I was aiming for. Then I started on one of the segments of the shell. So if you didn't know, these scallop shells that I'm painting, they have ridges. So the plan was to paint the peaks of the ridges in the lighter colours and the troughs of the ridges in darker colours. So to mix my colours, I used burnt umper as a base. And then I added some yellow ochre and some vermilion red to make it a more orangey colour, which is more of the colour that was in my reference image, actually. So in every segment of this shell, I started out with my darkest tone first in the like furthest away area in the trough area and then I um, added a little bit of white to the original color to make my mid-tone and then I blended those two colors so I blended my darkest tone into my mid-tone so I gave the illusion of a curved object or a curved surface so I then went in with my highlight which was this off-white color that I made with lots of white and that mid-tone colour and then I blended that into my mid-tone again and then basically what I did was I then blended back to my darkest colour to complete the segment. On the left side of the shell I did my highlights on the right side of each segment and then for the right side of the shell I did the highlights on the left of each segment and this makes it more realistic as the highlights all face the same direction which is to the top of the drawing and this um, place in the drawing is where the light source would be located so if I were to continue on I would have to make sure that my light source was consistent and that all of the highlights all face the same direction if that makes sense to make it look a bit more like in real life. On the image that I was working from, the left side of the shell was more of an orange colour, while the right side was a more brown colour. So I went through doing the segments from left to right, and while I was doing that, I tried to make my darkest colour more brown as I went on, so I would achieve this effect. All the time that I was painting this, I kept on looking back, to, back at my um, and my reference image to see if I was painting with the right tones and the right colours and the right shades of those colours. And the main thing that really helped me was to have this reference image on a big screen on my computer in front of me so that I could keep on checking that what I was producing was correct against this image and what I was producing was the right tones and all that. That is the main top tip if you are ever drawing anything have a reference image i cannot explain how much it helps honestly you will thank me later yeah so that's going to be it for this tutorial today so i will see you all in the next video and if you don't know already i upload every weekend consistently or at least I try to. So make sure to subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on my next upload. So I will see you then. And yeah, have a great week, everybody.